Hello. Hello. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today because I am. It is a beautiful morning where I am living and I thought it was the perfect day to do a stream. Well, I stream every day, but you know what I mean. Uh, I am finishing up the ballroom. I am so excited, so very, very excited. Uh, I have lots and lots planned. Uh, well, and by lots and lots planned, I mean I have an idea of what I want to do in here. So I finished up as of last night, sometime in the night, I finally figured out what I wanted to do right here. So this is the final design I came up for with the, to fill in this little space here. It's this little design here. And I think it looks great. I think it gives the perfect amount of combination of this and this without being too much. I like it. So I'm going to leave it. The first thing we're going to do is I want to finish filling in the rest of the glass and probably going in and changing the dirt from dirt to grass because I don't know if it'll glow, I mean, grow under um, the blocks. Hello! How are you doing this morning? Or afternoon, whatever time you're in. So I'm going to finish up the glass and then... I'm gonna work on, I have this really cool idea to do like cross beams going across the roof and then I'm probably gonna work on some chandeliers because I think that will be really cool. I'm actually like really excited about it because like, um, it'll be cool. Oh, you live in the UK. That's so cool. Um, I am good. Um, it's, <laughs> it's a good morning. I'm really excited, plus I get to work on this today, hopefully finish up how this build is going to look, and then once I get the interior of this done, ooh, I gotta go out though, then I'll have this interior done, and this interior done, and then I'll get one step closer to finishing this portion of the Athenium, or Athenium however I decide to pronounce it. Um, yeah, so I'm like super excited about it. Hopefully um, it turns out well. Oh, thank you so much. I have been working on this for a really long time and, and by a really long time, I mean like months, even maybe a year now. Uh, it takes me a while to come up with an idea. It's kind of a slow build. So, I really like it. Thank you, Sage, so much for the follow. That means a lot. Thank you. Um, I'm glad you like the build. It's... I have a lot of other projects I'm working on right now as well. Um, so... <laughs> There's this, there's this one I'm building in the nether, but it takes me a while to get there, so I'm probably not gonna go over there. But I'm glad you like it. Oh, I could show you, since you followed, I'll take a little break from building, um, even though I just barely got started. If we come this way, just like a little bit, we can see a smaller build I built <laughs> a while ago, but it's like the closest to this build here. Um, so I'll just come over here and show you. This is like, a little temple thing. I think it's cool. These trees are probably some of my favorite trees to make. They're like the glass trees. Anyway, I think this place is cool too. We used to have, so I used to, ha oh, I still have one. I named fish after like mythology. And I think he's the, I think these are the only two left because they kept jumping out and landing in the water and I was like oh it was so sad because I watched one happen and then they just keep slowly dying off and I'm like oh no the fish 
know. This I like I have I get it so in creative mode I get a little attached after I spawn things in I'm like this took me so long to get but in reality I I literally just spawned it in with like a spawn egg or something um and I'm like oh no my fish and then I'm like wait I could probably just spawn in more if I really wanted to <laughs> I had one name like Persephone it was a pretty one so and it was with Hades but then they like pushed each other out of the water and I'm like oh man that was kind of sad not the smartest and if I wanted to keep them inside I could have used barrier blocks but I didn't um <laughs> I do play survival um I have a a couple of survival I actually play modded survival and then I have another creative world I play on um so I kind of play a lot of different minecraft um, I use a lot of creative buildings, like, as a, a guide to help improve my survival skills, like, my survival building skills. So, um, yeah, I play a whole bunch of stuff. It just depends on my mood. Um, there's this... Okay, I'm just gonna step back and make sure I like that. I do! Okay, just continuing on. Um, I have this one build that I'm actually really proud of. It's on some of my previous streams. It's uh, the winter, I think it's called like, I called it like the winter inn or something like that. And it's like, just a, like a really simple build, but I like go back and forth between either like mega builds like this or like smaller builds. So I'm getting better at survival. I'm not the best, like I can't speedrun or anything, but I don't die right off the bat. So I tried hardcore for a little bit and then I got sad when I made like this really cool like mega build and then I just died by fall damage because I accidentally like unshifted. So I was like shifting on a block and then it, yeah, I was really sad. So I stopped building gigantic builds in hardcore and then just kind of, because Lots of the times when I'm building in <laughs> survival, I do, like, I sometimes, not in hardcore, but because I'm more focused in hardcore, but in survival, sometimes I'll forget I'm not in creative, so I'll, like, go to, like, fly off a build, and then I'll just jump off the side of a cliff. Like, I'll be, like, pretend this isn't, like, survival, okay? So I'll be, like, on top of something like this, okay? And I'll be, like, I'll finish placing the blocks, and I'm like, oh, gotta go, and then, like, I just fall because I'm not, and then I die. And then I laugh at myself because I literally thought I was in survival and I wasn't in survival. It was kind of embarrassing, but at the same time, it was like a, a reality check. And I was like, oh, that's, uh, that's ironic. That's awesome. That's so cool. I suck at beating the Ender Dragon. I've done it several times, but yeah. You know how that is. So. Yeah, I really like playing. Um, so, I like, I have a couple of servers I like to play on. Um, with like, just random people. And so, occasionally, I just, I'm also like very, I don't know, it's weird. So when I'm playing survival with like, other people, I oftentimes just kind of like, meld into the background. And like, sometimes I'll get like, I'll just like watch what they're doing or like tag along but like I'm not really active active like I feel I don't I don't even know how to describe it I'm just awkward sometimes that's all but I totally understand I I'll like make I'll like make gifts for like people like that's how I interact is like I'll make like something for them like I'll throw a block or like a couple of blocks or like some sort of gift into whatever build they're doing so yes it is easier when you're with other people i think i love that there are certain types of games that are maybe like i'm trying to think of a specific word not 
are dynamic? No. Wait. I have no idea what I was trying to say there. E I go. I see. I had a good. I had a good thing to say about that, and now I just can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, I remember. There are some games that have like better dynamics with other people that are like so it makes the game easier. Like it's just easier. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I really like using the glass. I think it's cool. And then hopefully it'll look good with the lighting. I need to fix the lighting in here. I think I'm gonna use some light blocks. Maybe the chandelier will help just a little bit, but I don't wanna place like a ton of torches or like lanterns on the edges of this build. So I'm probably just gonna use light blocks. Honestly, it's probably best. I also need to fix this here, that corner, that corner and that corner. I think this one, no, I might need to fix that one. I think that one's okay. Dang, I really don't know what to do for the corners. I could do more of an inward. Here, I'm gonna try this right now to, wait, I could just follow what the, Hmm. I was gonna follow what this is and kind of repeat that, but I don't know if that'll work really well. I could scoot it up one so it's like not as deep. Hold on, let me mess with this for a second because until I figure this out, it's probably gonna bother me. Um. How does that look? That's cool. Okay, I guess that's what I'm doing. Oh, also with this build, something else I've been thinking about maybe doing, I'm thinking about making an underground area with like a really, cause there's this really cool ravine with this like open area. So I've thought about making like a really big path down that kind of leads into, you know, the, that trick you can do with glass where it like shades down and like turns into like really foggy um like it kind of looks like a portal it, anyway it's a trick you can do with glass i think i'm gonna use that in there i think it would be really cool i totally think i'm gonna do that i think it would add just a little bit more character character characteristics yeah, that's, that's, that's a word. I feel like for some reason that felt weird to say. But I'm only going to do that after I finish the town. Also, don't look at that build. It's definitely not a failed one that I didn't like. Um, ah, man. Hate when I accidentally press Q instead of <laughs> W. So I like throw out the block. I completely lost my train of thought that's okay oh the underground section i'm gonna do the town before i even work on that next section i think i'm gonna do this with that as well okay could put lava at the bottom yes i think the light source really helps i think i actually used it in this build I think I used I think I did right am I like imagining that I did a no see that looks so cool I'm never gonna get over how that looks especially with like shaders on but I'm not gonna use those said shaders because they've been destroying my stream but okay I think I only have this last little bit to do, and then the corners, and then I'm done. Well, with the flooring. Okay, something funky about the flooring. So I did this one, this little design over here first, and then I copied it for these sections. That took me so long to come up with because I wanted to make it like a organic pattern without being too repetitive. It was so hard. 
But I think it looks good now, so I'm not upset. It was just kind of a pain, that's all. Do -do. Ah! Place the block wrong. Um. I was like, I feel. Also, I have no idea what kind of, like, chandelier to do. Like, I don't know if I'm going for, like, a glass chandelier that looks more realistic, or if I'm gonna go kind of like an... I want to say nature chandelier, but that probably doesn't make any sense. So, like... I have an upside-down tree in one of the other builds. I could do something like that, but I think more of, like, a ballroom classic chandelier would look interesting but i also would have to mess with it a lot because i don't want it too big but i definitely want it big so it looks grand in this area but figuring he's just having the time of his life spinning right there he's just so cute I'll just let him continue doing his little spin thing. That's wonderful. That's so cute. I wonder why they do that, because they do it a lot. I've seen... Is it because they're trying to climb up, but are getting caught on this block? No, and now he's done. Yeah, I have no idea why they do that. Game mechanics, I guess. Ah! Doo -doo -doo. Okay. I think that is all of the glass put in. I could just leave this one like this. Because that doesn't look too bad. Like this, um... Design that I have going on here. I could just take out that. How does that look? Hold on. Let me see take out this so this isn't interfering with my possible yeah that's not bad I could just put like ooh, one more um uh, how many followers do I have I think I have like seven right now um and then <laughs> what do you mean by there's no space to go in not to go up what did i miss something that must have i'm oh the spider that makes oh i remember ah that's what i thought I was like, I figured it had to do something with the block above it. I think I've also seen... I think I've seen other things do that before where it's kind of weird, but... I don't know, I'm not gonna question it. <gasps> oh! Do you want to see something cool? I just remembered I had this. So we were talking about animals earlier and how I get attached to them even though I just spawn them in. Um, so I have this little secret area that I made while I was doing... So there's this little like border design. I use like all the way around and while I was doing that I was like ah I need to do um I want to make a little section so this is the secret library thing and I may or may not have a cat or two so this is <laughs> Veda and what are you doing you don't belong in here and then this is Poseidon I love my cat <laughs> he's so cute i really adore him like a lot actually um <laughs> so funny funny story about poseidon so you see how he's in this little corner well one of the things that i may or may not have had happen was i had water features in here so i had like a waterfall coming down well poseidon decided and that's how he got his name this little story i'm telling here he decided before I had named him that he wanted to take a swim 
well, he came over here and I had like two little slabs and he couldn't get out. So he started drowning and I panicked because I did not want him to die. Um, thankfully he didn't die. Uh, but I just had to name him Poseidon because it just fit anyway. So there's the cats that will forever stay in here because, and then there's this little area. Um, there are the cats that will stay in there forever because I really don't want them to just, uh, <laughs> die. I was gonna have them roam around and chase after creepers, but I was like, mmm, yeah, they're gonna stay down there. <laughs> and so they will permanently be a part of this build. Anyway, that's just a little, I didn't, I think I liked it better. Okay, getting back onto track with building. I think I liked it better without the stone there. Definitely like that better. Voila. Okay. I think that... One more corner. I have one more corner. I think I can just copy what I did over there, over here. So I think I did like, I think I did like a long piece till this point here, and then I went back one. Right? I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Yeah, that's totally what I did. Wait, maybe not? Something's a bit off. Wait. I guess it can be a little different. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, but I do want it to line up. And I don't understand why it's not lining up. Okay, let's see. That comes in line with that edge. Wait, did these both? Oh, it does. Both of them do that. Okay, never mind. I got it. I was a bit confused for a second there. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix this. Let's see. Um. What? What am I gonna do after- Oh, the beams! I was like, what is my next plan? Because I have the chandelier and the beams still to do. And then I could work on the town, maybe? I don't know, we'll see how far we get today. And then just continue. Also, there is this woman, so speaking about, since I was telling stories about animals and weird incidents. So, when I very first started joining, well, when I very, very first started building this, um, like, place, I was clearing out so as you saw, there was like a open space. So as I was filling in the like first layer of grass to just make it a flat area I could work with, um, my mom was watching um, and she was like, there happened to be like a zombie that had like drowned. So it became a drowned. And she was like, oh, that is such a nice creature. Would you keep it? And so I was like, yeah, of course. And I was like, what do you want me to name him? And I think we ended up, I can't even remember. It was so long ago. I don't remember what we ended up naming him. I could go look. Um, well, she didn't like that he was in a boat underground. So he's like, let him roam, let him roam. And I'm like, hey, he might die. And she's like, no, he won't, no, he won't. He's a, he's a strong little man. And so I was like, okay, whatever you want. And so we let him roam and he died. And then my mom was like, why'd you kill him? And I was like, I didn't kill him. And now there's a grave for him, and we had like, she, we we did like this little like thing, and um, <laughs> we had like a, what it, it wasn't even a funeral, it was just like a, oh that was sad, and then we moved on. I can't even remember his name, and I don't think I've ever deleted it. Um, here I think I can go look. I know exactly where it is, and I just like barely remembered because we were talking about the incident with Poseidon. Um. 
now I have to see if I still have it in here or not. Um, I think it's below the stairs. Hold on. Oh, there's an Enderman trapped. Here, sir, I'll, I'll free you from your captive. Nope, it's not in the stairs. Okay. I know it's in one of these areas. Maybe it's in over here? I know it was behind one of these water chutes. Maybe not? Oh, here we go, here we go. I was like, there's an open space. Oh, I just... Oh, man. I just messed up the thing just a little bit. It's okay. I got it. So if we come back here, let's see. Is it over here? Oh, it's not. Dang, I don't even know where it is. Oh, maybe I'm not going to be able to find where he died. There's an area underneath one of these spots that has like a large... Oops, I messed it up again. Keep doing that. Okay. You know how I'm gonna find it? Oops. Okay, here we go. So it's around here somewhere. Oh, maybe it's all the way over here. Wait. I'm so confused. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We found it. Forever in the heart. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there we go. There's the... His name was... And Dew. I think it was Dew, because she said it funny. Um. Oh, I about put me in survival. Yep. Here's, here's his grave. And then <laughs> we made a little... <laughs> Thing for him oh this was so long ago oh my gosh I completely forgot about this like completely forgot that this was even a thing until we were talking about Poseidon that's so weird that it's still there huh all right well anyway there's there's another little story to give a little characteristics to this, um, um, build. Uh, that was probably at least a year ago. At least. Because it happened, like, last... I started building, I think, around, like, last year? Was it last year? When was it? I didn't even put, like, a starting date, because I honestly didn't think... It was gonna be this big of a project until I like actually started to work on it. Huh, interesting. That was so long ago. Anyway, there's that story of another pet? I don't know, just a, another little fun story. Okay. I think that is the floor. Oh, lights. Just kidding. Oop. There we go. I'm gonna take out the lights I have and do more planned out lighting. I say planned out, but it's not really gonna be planned out. It's just... Like, I know there's a light block around here somewhere. Oh, I might need to put stuff under the leaves. I will work on that later, though. I'm not sure I want to do that right now. Okay. Oh, I missed and hit the glass. Gosh dang. Um, I think I definitely want... I forgot that it takes a second for the light thing to disappear. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. I think I'm going to do one in the middle of the flower and then maybe just some smaller ones around the area. 
Okay, just gonna take out all of these, let mobs spawn, cause I don't know. Okay, let's start with this, this flower. I think, I think I have a couple more, but I know what I want to do, so I'm gonna start on that. Okay, let's do one like that bright there, and then go to this edge here. Maybe make one on each of the petal sections. That could be interesting. And then in the center of this. To give like a nice spot for all of the light to stem from. Um. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, where do I live? Um, I live in the U.S. Uh, in one of the states. Uh, that's as comfortable <laughs> as I'm saying where I live. But, in the U.S. somewhere, that's for sure. Um, born and raised. Not that that's a choice, but I think one here would look good. And then one in the center of this. Um. Wait. Whoa. They are only two. I thought those edge ones were like three blocks. It's only two. Um. And then this one's moving to the center here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I would love to travel. So I haven't really traveled a whole bunch. Um. My family's just not that type of family. We don't... We just kind of stay in one spot and then i mean i've gone places before but like i would love to go see and meet like a whole bunch of different people eventually uh right now i'm just like just a college kid well i'm in the middle of yeah i'm like 18 so it's like college and like end of high school beginning of college so Let's see. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue this and see how the lighting is. I might need to use shaders just to check and make sure everything looks good. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna continue with this. Oh, I was talking about traveling. I was like, I was saying something. So I would love to meet more people, learn some different cultures, um, I think that would be really cool. I mean, I've been to several places in the U.S., but I've never been out of the U.S., which I think would be just a fun... I want it, I want an adventure, I don't know, that's just, like, fun traveling, um, Let's see. Inspired by State Farm surprisingly great rates. Where else? Let's do one here. I think this is giving a good Yeah, it's keeping those lit up and then in these sections I can do like smaller lights. Like um just a little bit. I just don't want a whole bunch of mobs to be spawning. So that's mainly what I'm trying to fix. Maybe I'll even do one. Nah, I'll- okay. My brain is going so fast. Um, I'll wait on that section and then just continue with this. Take that out. Do one on the edge here. Hopefully this is covering enough of the area. I'm not really counting. I'm just kind of Holding the button and hoping for the best. Um, let's go here. I just kind of zoned out for a second there. 
step back and look at that. Yeah, I, I enjoy how that looks. I didn't take out the lights over here, so it's hard to... Where did that light source go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So at the center. That is such a cool... I love lighting up. That... I don't know. That's just satisfying. Just watching, like, these center blocks just, like, start to glow. Ah, that's so cool. I love the light block. I wish you could get it in survival. Okay. Um... How many builds have I done? Ah, lots. I stopped keeping track after... Uh, I've had so many, um... Just, like, survival that I gave up on, or creative builds that I stopped working on. So, lots. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Um, I could even show you one of my... Here, give me like two seconds. I will show you. Do I still have it? Yep. This is another creative server I have. It's just like a blank one. It gives a... It's just like a testing area for little builds. This is just one of my smaller ones. I've lost... So I've had other flatlands like this where I build kind of in the same thing where I just kind of sprout outward. Um but I, they crashed and didn't load. Thankfully I have screenshots. So I use flatlands like this to just kind of test how things are gonna look. Um, so this is one of many, this build is one of my favorites. I don't know, I just like the design. It looks cool. So I have a lot of stuff like this where I just kind of mess around, and then I have a whole bunch of survival ones um, that I goof around in as well. So, you know, stuff like this. I have a lot of small builds. Um, yeah, that's right. Lots of... Um, I have lots of builds on this one as well. Here, let me... I gotta pull up the cords though, because I don't have... So what I like to do is if I don't have um, any like inspiration for building or I just want to like go somewhere and build something. So what I do in this world is I go this and then I TP to like a random location, right? And then I build something there. So here's a couple of that I've done. This is what I like to call the peace lands. This was some of the first stuff I built on this server. Um, So, there's this area, there's like four different builds, um, and then this is one of the villages that I quote-unquote transforming, but gave up on. Well, not given up on, given up on, but it's like, just left. So this, some of these are dedicated to like, friends of mine, or, um, just people I've met, or things that inspire me, um, so there's a little build over here that I gave up on. Um, this is uh, what I like to call the soul mansion. And I was messing with this like fading thing before I knew how to, oops, before I knew how to like properly fade. And then I decided one day I was like, hmm, oops, I'm going to make this a maze. I'm not going to go down it because it's incredibly hard to see where you're going. Um, so there's that. Uh, but I gave up after the first room. And then, so, I have lots of builds like this where I have an idea and then I just stop building it. Um, there's, here, I guess because you asked and I need a little break from building, um, I will take you to Lunius, my nether build. So, um, the Athenium is one of my mega builds that I like doing. This is, I'll take you to... So this is just another travel thing I worked on one day when I was bored. Um, also, you can tell it's in survival because this is way too many beacons to do in... I mean, it's creative because this is way too many beacons to do in survival. Um, this is a portal to one of my friend's areas. Um, her builds are cool. Her builds are a lot different. Here, I'll show you. So 
because we're going into Lunius. So Lunius is a combined effort of me and my sister Opal. This is all her stuff. She likes doing this kind of stuff. It's kind of wonky. It's kind of weird. I love it with my entire being. I think it's cool. Um, and then I like doing interiors. She, she had me help with the interiors in here. This is her area. So there's this really cool like flat area over here where like it's on pause, but we're making a giant mushroom village. It's like a flat area in the sky. It's going to look super cool if we ever get it finished. Um, but for now, it's on pause because of Lunius, which is a gigantic build we are doing on top of the nether roof. I am so proud of it. It's it's so cool. Like, I love the Athenium, um, but our combined, I think it's this way, it just takes a really long time for us to get there. And so it's kind of, um, it's a, it's a process. That's all I'll say. Um, hopefully this, it takes a, like I said, a really long time to get there, but it was totally worth it because we didn't want it too close to everything else. Cause it's kind of, it's huge. It's gonna be huge. It's so Lunius is a giant city in the sky. So, well, kind of. Um, it's technically Lunius, the city under the sky, because it's in the nether. Anyway, um, and it's based off of kind of Alice in Wonderland vibes. Um, I don't know how to explain it other than that. So, this is. I should. Nah, I don't want to ruin my. I don't want to make it super laggy. But this is part of what we are doing. So I can't hear. If I don't have my shaders on or here, how far is my render distance right now? Because let's just bump that up a little bit. Because you can't really see it unless I do that. It's, it's huge. Um, yeah, I need... Okay, hopefully this doesn't absolutely wreck the lag. Okay, I'm putting shaders on because it helps you see the whole build because of how the fog works in the nether. It's really hard to get it without shaders. So I'm turning shaders on. If it starts being an issue with lag, let me know and I will re... Like, I'll turn them off so it stops. Okay, I gotta load this whole thing. So this, oh, I gotta scoot this way. Hold on. Let's just let this load. It's gonna take a second, hold on. So this is the start to Lunius. It's huge. It's a giant castle area we are making. Um, this is what it looks like so far. I am so proud of how it looks. It is one of my favorite builds, other than the Athenium, because the Athenium is just so cool. Um, so there's this- oh, hello. Um, so this is- there's gonna be like a gigantic maze that runs throughout. There's gonna be like a quote-unquote circus area, but it's not really a circus. This is gonna be a courtyard. And then this point here is where the castle starts, and it's going to go back that way quite a ways. The castle is going to be one of the biggest parts. Um, but this is another mega build I've done and working on. This, like, little chessboard is... I love it a lot. Um, it's really cool. Yeah, anyway, so that's one of the I was showing you builds I've done I don't know how many I've done because I've done so many does that make sense um and now we fly back it's just a because I love playing Minecraft so much and because I like building I do lots of builds um So I couldn't really put a number to it. 
Also, I really need another portal over there. Because once I get back to the overworld, it becomes a lot easier to get to the Athenium because I can just teleport there because I have the area in like commands. I'm like using one hand to do this because I need a drink. Okay. Let's get back to the Athenium. Alright, well, yeah, that's <laughs> one of many builds I've done. I was like, they're gonna end up pushing each other off. Um, do I have a... Uh, I need another light block here. I feel like it's too dark. Um, what's the most time a viewer has stayed? Uh, probably, I've had a person stay, uh, a whole stream, which usually lasts about an hour, um, but that's about it, so I don't really care about that kind of stuff. If they need to go do something, they can go do something. Um, if they want to stay, they're more than welcome to. Uh, if they come back, that's great. But if not, I also understand life happens, so yeah. I mean, I bet you're one of the most ones who have chatted the longest, but yeah. I don't really know because I don't really measure it, so I just kind of have fun. Okay, let's... Is that the center? Yeah, that would be the center of that area there. Okay. Um, I need one in the center here. I might wait to do the chandelier till tomorrow. Maybe later. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that's sweet. I really like when people in chat, um, I, sh uh, chat stay a really long time. It's, it's nice. It's fun to bounce off people and see what they think. I like, I like showing people what I've made because I'm proud of it. Uh, it's also cool to like get to know people. So I'm glad that you've decided to stick around so long. It's neat. How often do I stream? I stream every day around this time, sometimes other times, but I try to stream every day because I really enjoy it and it's something that I want to get better at. And I play video games so often that, like, why not stream for so long, you know, or stream every day? So I try to get every day, and if I can't, then. I haven't missed one yet, but there was a day that my internet was like absolute garbage and was lagging so bad. So it was like a 30 minute stream instead of- I tried and shoot for at least an hour, but if my internet is being garbage and decides to not work, uh, I can end it short. I don't know. Most of the time it's every day though, to answer your question. I kind of got off track there, but you get the point. Um, so, oh, I forgot one on this corner here. Yes, I'm glad you want to come back. Yes, that that like makes my day because oh, it's so nice to hear that it's not just me who enjoys doing this and that. Yeah, that's really sweet. I'm glad you're gonna come back because I like talking with you too. It's it's nice. Um, yeah, you just made my day. <laughs> oh, that's such a good thing to hear because I'm like, I want to make people's days better. Uh, that's like the whole point of this is to not only make my day better, but to maybe help other people with their days too, or just do something that people enjoy. So. Score. 
shows I'm doing something right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you, you just made my day. <laughs> yes! I made your day too! Huzzah! That is... Yes! <laughs> and hopefully it's not too laggy. I worry about that. But that's not something that hopefully is a big deal. So, score. Alright, so just because you've stayed so long, uh, Sage. Do you like going by Sage or Manny or. I assume it's Sage because that's the first part. Um, I just want to make sure. I'm watching your students play. Sweet! There's no lag at all. Yes! Score. Score. This is just like check after check after check. This is probably one of the best streams I've had in a while. So, yes! Okay, <laughs> anyway, we were doing lighting. Oh, I asked about your name. I'll wait because I know there's a little bit of delay. That's just how it works. I think I placed them here. We're just gonna do one right there. Um. I think I want to do a staircase upward in this section, or I want to do the, like, glass thing I did at the garden area over there. I think that would be cool. Um, Alright, okay, my name is Manny, but Sage is my name that people call me, so whatever you are. Okay, which would you prefer? Because I do not mind calling you either. Um, it just whatever you want um i could do a mix of both if that's what you want i just want to make it so <laughs> i don't know more not necessarily personal but like just so i know like what you want because sage okay sounds good sounds wonderful um i will call you sage Uh, and I'm gonna ask, so I don't ask, I didn't call you or misgender you, uh, pronouns? Question mark? Cause I'm good with anything. Just trying to get to know you better. Just a little bit better. But if you don't want to tell me, that's fine too. I completely understand. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a little bit in here just to lighten up these dark patches. I think I might also need to go like this and make them so it's, uh, uh, pronouns. So like, uh, she, her, he, him, they, them, or a mix of any. I assume that's what you're referring to. I, sorry, maybe the mic didn't pick me up. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay, I think I'm just going to continue adding a little bit of light into these spots. I don't want it to do this where there's like a ring of darkness, so I might end up um, doing stuff like this here where it's just like a light uh i go by she here yes so uh, i am a girl huh interesting how am i gonna make that work without adding too many i guess it doesn't really matter if i add a whole lot of um little lights because i'm not planning on putting because this is a ballroom i'm not planning on putting anything on the floor so i could just light it up 
as much as possible. I am worried though, it might look a little too like bumpy. Do you see how that looks bumpy where like that area just looks smooth? I might instead of doing a whole bunch of different ones, I might just do like bigger lights like this instead of little ones. So like here I would do like a brighter light. I think that's cool. Um, Cause you can't really place anything if there's a let's make that one a little brighter and that one let's take out these because i want them to be light enough that they brighten up an area without making it look weird i don't know um huh interesting this is gonna be difficult dang Lighting up an area is so hard. Um, do you play with people too? Mostly I play survival, uh, I mean, by myself. Um, occasionally I play with people I know, IRL. Um, but mostly it's just me. Um, I play with Opal quite often, so. But other than that, I just mainly, it's just me, so. Let's see. <sighs> How am I going to do this without making it look too overwhelming? Hmm. I might have to come back to that. Because I don't want it to look splotchy like it kind of looks here. I want it to look really... But I don't want to leave super dark patches. But I definitely don't want it to look splotchy. Huh. I don't know what to do. Interesting. I might have to mess with that later. Um, yeah. That's a bit different than what most people say. Yeah, I... <laughs> like I said, I interact with, um, I don't know, I have a hard time bouncing off of other people, like, especially if I don't know them very well, um, so sometimes servers can be a lot, mostly I just play with Opal, um, so, but how did I do the lights in here? Occasional? I think this one's easier because it has these. Hmm. Interesting. I might have to leave the lighting situation for another time. That's fine, though. I think, for the most part, I've got the flowers lit up. Maybe I'll even do some on this edge here. I don't know. I can leave that for another time. Also, there's, like, this dark... I used glass here, um, I like that, Oh, is there a block missing in there? Oh no, I think, yes there is, there's totally two blocks missing, like up directly in this spot, hold on, I gotta fix that, look, there's blocks missing, how did I miss that when I was doing this? That's no good! Oh, that's so sad. I wonder if I was doing it with shaders, because it's hard to see with shaders on. We're gonna fix that, because I don't want it to bother me. And it will if I don't fix it. So we're just gonna cover up these holes that I came out of. And then... See how that looks, because I think that looks a lot better. Uh, you can make a bigger small tree in the dark spots to design it with light blocks so it look cool. Oh, okay. So, the the reason why I'm not really doing much on the flooring, I want it to be a ballroom, so I don't really want to put anything on the flooring. Because I did, like, the tree design is more of what the archive is. So, this is the archive. This is basically, like, the library of the Athenium. This is, like, the garden, and then this is the ballroom. Um... So, the reason why I'm- I'm not gonna put anything on the floor, cause I want it to be a ballroom, and then I might do stuff underground, um, 
or up in this section so I'm leaving this spot blank because you know how like ballrooms are where they're like super open that's kind of the vibe I'm going for if that makes sense so the like tree thing is more of what I would do in here see like this yeah um that is why I'm struggling a little bit because I'm I'm used to throwing in a whole bunch of stuff to help fill in an area so I wanted to try oh, my voice I wanted to try something different I wanted to go kind of out of my comfort zone with this one and go for really 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 open um yeah So I'm gonna leave it really open, and then I still have a wool block on one of these spots. Oops. That's not, that's not good. Um. So yeah. Huh. I do not know what to do. Well, I do, but I don't at the same time. I think I might call that for today been about yeah it's been about what I usually stream for so and I'm kind of like at a stopping point I want to do more with eventually of course I want to do more of what the flooring the flooring is done the lighting needs work um so Yep. I think I'm gonna call that. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, yeah. That's great. Interesting. I do not know fully what I'm gonna do with the rest of this build. I know I wanna do cross beams, um, Yeah. And then a chandelier somewhere along here. But other than that, I'm totally gonna call that for today. So, I'm gonna back up so I'm in the light a little bit better. Thanks! Thanks for stopping by. It was a very good, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your evening, um, so yeah, thank you for stopping by, and I will see you later.